In this video, we're going to install a Java JDK on Windows 10 the simple way using Amazon Coretto. I'll see you in a moment. For many, starting out and learning a software development language, it can be a little overwhelming and confusing setting up your computer, especially to use Java. I want to show you a simple way to do this by using the Amazon Coretto JDK version 17 MSI installer on your Windows 10 system. This will also work for Windows 11. And for those using Mac OS, I have a separate video for you all that is just as simple. Okay, to do this first, we're going to open our browser and we're going to navigate to github.com slash Coretto, Coretto-17 releases. And once you're there, we're going to navigate down the screen so we get to the Windows 64 MSI. We will click on that and download it. Once it finishes downloading, go ahead and run the installer and follow the prompts. and click finish. The reason I say this is the simple way is because the MSI installer already understands that you'll need to create a Java home in your system environment settings, and it automatically adds that to the path, which is fantastic since all we really want to do is get started using and programming in Java. Let me show you what I mean. In the Windows search bar, if we type environment, and click on Edit Environment System Variables. We'll click on Environment Variables here, and we'll notice that down here in the System Variables, there's already a Java Home created with Amazon Coretto set on the path. If we go ahead and scroll down to the Path variable and click Edit, what you'll see is that the Coretto 17 is already set in the bin. We'll click OK to all of those. I'm going to open up the command prompt, type CMD in the command window, and we'll type Java dash version. There is our Java Coretto 17 installed. Now, if you wanted to, you could add all of these environment variables yourself because you've just seen how Coretto automatically does it for you. Hopefully this makes things easier for you setting up Java. In the next video, I'll demonstrate how to do this as well for Mac OS.